Okay, I've got something a little different today to show. I've got uh, a video posted about uh, a SEC 15-3 running LEDs and also a pulse motor, a little fan uh, pulse motor. And I've gone the other direction this time. I've got a pulse motor that I made. It's basically a Bedini style or window motor kind of pulse motor. I'm going to run the SEC over here with it. And I'm going to run the SEC off the back EMF, off the collapsing field of the drive coil. And when the coil collapses, it sends out a back spike. I'm going to run it through a bridge rectifier into the SEC, into this capacitor. That's a 35 volt, 470 microfarad uh, capacitor. And it's going to light these lights up here, these little LEDs. And I've got it already tuned. There's a voltage sitting on the cap right now. And I've got this charged up uh, with uh, three, uh, 3.19 volts off that little battery pack there. That's two double A's. And I've got a 2.7 volt 10 farad super cap. And once I get this going, I'm going to pull the battery off and show you the drain down on uh, the capacitor. And also the amp for on my new meter here. And this is going to be in milliamps. You'll see this uh, right here in a milliamp scale as this fires up. Now this little pulse motor, I've had a lot of fun with it. It works real good for these experiments. It's just a couple of Radio Shack coils, one up here and one under there, and a magnet in the, in the middle of them. And one coil is the trigger that fires the transistor, uh, which causes the drive coil to fire, which rotates the magnet, and off you go. you got a pulse motor. So let me fire this up. I'll show you how it goes. Here goes my little pulse motor. And you can see the uh, amp draw on that is uh, about 26, uh, 27 milliamps. That's on a milliamp uh, volt scale there. And uh, that's uh, 26, 27 milliamps. And you can see there's voltage on the um, system coming from the battery source there. And there's the voltage on my SEC cap. And there's the blinking lights. on the SEC. And the camera is not picking this up quite right, but those are actually blinking in a rather steady state, but the camera is not showing it. Okay, what I'm going to do now is first off, I'm going to pull the battery off here. Okay, there goes the battery over there. And now we're running uh, 24 milliamps on a 10 farad 2.7 volt super cap. And there's the voltage on the super cap right there. You see it's bouncing around a little bit. And I'm pretty sure the reason that's bouncing around is I've got a back uh, back flow from the SEC that goes through the system. And there's voltage on the SEC cap right now. This is running on just the capacitors. And you see the, the motor's running there. What I'm going to do is stop the motor now and see if I can get this to go into self-oscillation. And that's what happens when, if you have a system set up right, the magnet and the coils will go into some sort of a self-oscillation. And uh, that's what I'm going to hope to do here. Okay, there it goes. Now, you see the, the motor's not running now at all. It stopped. My amp draw went down to 1.37 milliamps. That's the amp draw on the system right now. There's voltage on the super cap right now. There's voltage on my set cap, and there's the lights blinking right there. The blinky, blinky lights. Now let's listen to it. This is what it sounds like. That's the pulse motor circuit. And here's the set circuit. much, much higher frequency on that. That's in the megahertz range. Anyway, just something I wanted to share with people that you can uh, you can run this thing backwards. You can take a pulse motor and take the back EMF off a pulse motor, shove it in a capacitor, and run a sec. Now that's in blink mode. 
Sometimes I'm able to get this to go actually into a solid state mode. Sometimes not. Let's see what happens here. Okay, there's the lights on solid. When I do that though, look at what happens to my amp draw. I almost double the amp draw on it. Now like I say, these are two circuits running together. There's the uh, voltage on the uh, cap at the sec and drops. Uh, this is dropping down on the, uh, the drive cap right there. Let's see if I can get this to go back into blink mode here. Okay, there goes the blink mode again. It actually uses less energy when it's blinking than when it's not blinking. There's the amp draw again. Alrighty, that's it for today. I just wanted to show you my, my little pulse motor. I'm driving a sec the other direction.